Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're watching this. Hi, I'm Mike, Mike's RV Camping. Welcome to my channel. Also, welcome to my TikTok page. Also, welcome to my Facebook page, or my Facebook blog, or whatever you want to call it, Mike's Camping and Travel. And if you're seeing this on my personal page, welcome. Welcome all. All I got to say is welcome to everybody. Anyhow. I guess I'm just going to have to start doing some solo camping trips. Because my camping buddy decided that. They basically told me tonight they didn't want to go. In a roundabout way. But I got the picture. I got it. So it looks like I'm going to need a new camping buddy. New camping companion, friend, whatever. And it saddens me that I got to go through this. But I'm tired of making plans, trying to make plans, and then having to change or cancel because of things. So I'm just tired of it so you all know somebody or you all want to be a part of my camping trips let me know um, I will leave some contact information at the bottom of the video um, if you're seeing it on one of my Facebook pages feel free to uh, send me a message in Messenger. If you're seeing this on TikTok, well, just DM me on TikTok. Um, I just can't. Seem to figure this out. Also, when somebody keeps throwing stuff at you that you've done in the past that was wrong, and you've apologized. If I've apologized once, I've apologized a thousand times. And I've been not doing anything to show that. I'm still making the same mistake. And then I've been single over two years. And even longer than that since I've been intimate with anybody. So I'm just. Don't know. I just wish I could figure this whole thing out. I'm pushing 52. I'm going to be 52 in a month and a half. And I've yet to figure this out. I cannot figure the dating world out. I cannot figure long-term relationships out. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I heard, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Well, I've changed that and I've done that. It ain't that. And people are like, it's not you. It's me. That's what I hear. It's not you, it's me. Or if it is me, it's because I'm, I made one choice one time to do something for myself after bending over backwards and doing stuff for everybody else for years and years and decided to do one thing for myself and suddenly I'm selfish. I'm self-centered. I only care about myself. Over one little stupid thing like buying a Jeep. I bought a CJ7 years ago and that was being selfish. And, I don't know. I'm told that I only care about myself before. Because I was trying to support the family. And that required that I work. 
even though I probably shouldn't have been. But that was the only form of major form of income that the family had. My family had, the family I had at that time had, as in you know myself, spouse, children. Um, I said again, myself, my spouse, and the children. That's the family I'm talking about. Not my brothers, sisters, mom, dad. None of that. No, that has nothing to do with this conversation or what's going on. It has to do with spouses and children. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being alone. I'm tired of not having that special someone to spend time with, to go places with, to do things with. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong in this lifetime. Some people are fine being single. But I just don't feel that I'm programmed that way. It's like I feel like I should be spending my life with somebody. Sharing experiences with them. So I ask. I don't know. I can't figure that out. So, anyhow, back to other things here. I went off a little bit to the side. I am looking for a new camping companion. Camping buddy. The one I had second time now pretty much canceled on me i'm tired of not going i bought all this equipment i have all this equipment to go and it's like you know they cancel on me and it's no fun going by yourself i don't know i see these people doing the whole van life and stuff by themselves end up having a friend or something or traveling with a group you know but I'm solo here right now now if I was going and to somewhere and I don't mind driving solo traveling solo but I get where I'm going I'd like to know somebody and do stuff with uh, anyhow, I don't see that happening. So, if anybody wants to be my companions, and I'm being serious, people. Serious, 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 serious. If anybody wants to be my traveling companion, you know, if you drop me a DM, or I will leave, or send me a message on Messenger on Facebook, or I will leave an email account you can email me on. So, if you want to join me, let me know. If you don't, don't bother. Don't say, oh yeah, I'd like to do that. And then when it comes time for the rubber to meet the road, you're like, I can't do it. This, that, and the other. No. Don't say you want to go and do things. And then when I set up the time and send you stuff, you ghost me. No. Don't waste my time. I won't waste yours. Okay, now. Anyhow, you all have a nice evening. It is evening here. It's going on 12, going on midnight now, I do believe. And the Eastern Time Zone. So you all have a nice night. You see this in the morning or daytime, you have a good day. 
Have a good afternoon, whatever it is when you're seeing this. So, hang on. Frank is blowing my hair around, or dog hair, or something. I don't know. But anyhow, my dog hairs. My dog gets short hair. Her hair normally doesn't fly around, so it's probably my own hair. Anyhow. Y'all have a good one. When you're out there on the road, be safe. When you leave your campsite, leave no trace. Leave it better than you found it. Mike and Mike's RV Camping. Y'all have a good one.